Ever wondered what a fetal Doppler is used for? This handy device is a beacon for expectant parents and healthcare professionals, giving them the chance to monitor the baby's heartbeat during pregnancy. Using ultrasound technology, a fetal Doppler can detect and amplify the sound of the baby's heartbeat. Now is a fetal Doppler safe for the baby? The answer is yes, generally speaking. As long as it's used as directed by healthcare professionals, it's considered safe. However, it's wise to avoid prolonged or frequent use to minimize unnecessary exposure to ultrasound waves. You might be wondering, when is the right time to start using a fetal Doppler? Typically, healthcare providers use Dopplers after 10 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. But, detecting the heartbeat at home might be a bit tricky until around 12 to 16 weeks due to factors like the baby's position or the mother's weight. So, is it a good idea to use a fetal Doppler at home? Well, it can be. It can provide some peace of mind for parents. But remember, it's not a substitute for regular prenatal checkups. Always discuss any unusual findings with a healthcare professional. What about the heartbeat? Is 147 beats per minute a boy or a girl? Actually, that's a myth. The fetal heart rate doesn't predict the baby's gender. There's no scientific evidence to back up such claims. And what's the normal heartbeat of a fetus? It can vary but generally falls between 120 and 160 beats per minute. There are individual variations, of course, and healthcare professionals are the best people to interpret and monitor the fetal heart rate during prenatal care. In summary, a fetal Doppler is a tool that uses ultrasound technology to monitor and listen to a baby's heartbeat during pregnancy. Its purpose is not to predict the baby's gender, but to provide reassurance and peace of mind to expectant parents. Remember, it's not a substitute for regular prenatal checkups and any concerns should be discussed with healthcare professionals. Lastly, while fetal Dopplers are generally safe, they should be used responsibly to avoid unnecessary exposure to ultrasound waves.